the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. We got Debbie driving today. Always. And it's like we're on another road trip, like back to back. But I have to go all the way to Florence, which is like an hour away. <clears throat> to pick up my subwoofers and I know some of you guys are like why the hell are you having a dry to pick up your subwoofers when they should be delivered to your door well when you get stuff at team pricing and they ship free and, quantity, large quantity. and it's a large quantity you know it's <clears throat> six subwoofers if they put them on a pallet it saves them a hell of a lot of money because they're already saving you a hell of a lot of money so to save themselves a hell of a lot of money after giving you already a good discount. It's cheaper to put them on a pallet. And sadly, where I live, my closest FedEx facility that accepts freight, which means you know, they have a forklift in there, take big pallets off, is in Florence, South Carolina. So that's why the hell we're driving to Florence. But I'm not even taking the subwoofers home. I'm taking them to Dustin's shop, which is, uh, yeah, like 45 minutes away from me. So on the way back, I just swing right by his damn shop. <laughs> and we got to figure out where we're going to sit him in there because Deb's subs are already in there. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be holding 10 15s. Takes a lot of trust in a person to do that. <laughs> but it's all good, guys. I just wanted to make a little video of today's adventure. All right, guys, I know we're close. I mean, we're not really close to FedEx. We're like seven minutes away. But you'll see what we're close to here in a minute. My favorite place on earth. Well, not really my favorite place, but my favorite place outside of the bedroom with my wife on earth. <laughs> Where's that sign at? Where is that big sign? I know it's up here somewhere. I mean, y'all already know what it is. There's that big sign over there. I see you, Bucky. I see you, Bucky. I see you. Look at that place back there. Look at it. The greatness. Just the greatness in there. God, I love that place. But, I mean, oh, I... We might hit it on the way back. There's that big, big old Bucky sign over there. That damn post bot. There we go. But yeah, we're taking a lot of the same road today that we took yesterday uh, to get to this FedEx facility. Cause we drove right by this Bucky's yesterday too. This is the one in Florence, South Carolina. They're not that busy today. That's crazy. That place is normally always hopping. Look at the clouds above that. That's crazy. Anyway, guys, uh, we're getting ready to pull up at the FedEx here in like five minutes. So, yeah. We had to load these damn subs in the road. Six of them should fit back there since they don't have an enclosure. <laughs> so, we're literally like two, miles. Two, two miles from Bucky's. Where's it at? Hey, it's over that boat. Right there. We're two miles from Bucky's. <laughs> And this is the FedEx facility. We're waiting on them to grab my pallet, come down this ramp so I can un not unbox them, but take them off the pallet and cram in the car here. But, hmm. wild little place back here. I, I've had a pallet of stuff come here before from DS18, but Matthew Brown, you know, the guy with Salt Shaker, he picked it up for me and actually brought it to me, so. This is my first time being here, but which Matthew lives up in this area. So he was cool enough that I just asked if he could grab it and I was going to come and get it from him. He said, should I bring it to you? Oh shit, here they come. Here they come. That, he driving with it. <laughs> yep, he t he's got his forklift license. He driving down there backward. I oh, gotta come down and open the gate. But not a big pallet. But alright guys, so I'm I'm waiting on this gentleman to get down here. 
and then uh, I'm gonna get this crap loaded in the car and I'll be back. We'll probably go to Bucky's. I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all with me to Bucky's, but we probably gotta go to Bucky's. <laughs> That's a whole lot of subwoofer in a little car, <laughs> but they all fit. So now, like I said, we'll probably head to Bucky's and then yeah, it's not major. I'm going to go to Dustin's shop and drop all these off. And this gentleman was nice enough to help us load everything. So, good experience up here today. So, we're Bucky's bound. <laughs> Y'all be knowing I love Bucky's. So, I mean, while we're here, they got cheaper gas than anywhere. So, 322. Might as well top off while we're here. So, and then I just had food on the way here. Because it's only like an hour drive. So, uh, I'm not gonna be getting no brisket or nothing today. I'll find something in here though. I don't know, it's always just good to come in. I wish Bucky was here today, but I don't think Bucky's here. I don't really see Bucky in there. I've never been here when Bucky's here, so it is what it is, guys. Anyway, guys, check out this beanbag toss game. If you play beanbag toss, that, that's kind of cool. But then again, I mean, I like everything buggies. Bucky, Bucky, Bucky's. But I'm kind of mad, because check this out. I really want one of these Bucky's Halloween shirts. Because, you know, bam. They got Bucky. But look, we go straight from. What? What? Where's the, where the 2X? And then I looked up front, and it's the same thing up, up front at the front display. No 2X. Oh, this bitch glows in the dark. Damn. I got a burrito. <laughs> I've never tried their burrito. It's the it's a, it's like a chipotle size burrito. But don't know chipotle. this thing's like seven sixty nine. They had chicken, uh, Texas Philly. I don't know. Then I got a Bucky's flavor brand cream soda. Their cream soda's fire, guys. So I'm gonna check out this burrito. It's a bomb ass burrito, guys. And this was one of the pre-made ones that was just set up there in the rack. My breakfast. Look, at burrito and subwoofers. That's like awesome. But for real, this is better than like any Taco Bell. Uh, most Mexican restaurants in the uh, Myrtle Beach area, it's better than that shit. Definitely better than like Chipotle and Moe's. Yeah. And it's like a good full hearty burrito. I've ate over half of this bitch and it's still got like a half pound left. <laughs> we had a place in Missouri where I'm from called Burritoville. If this thing was more fried on a grill after it was rolled up, it would be damn near like what they had because they had some awesome burritos. But this thing was $7.69 and their burritos are $15 now. So uh, yeah, I choose this one all day. Damn, Bucky. Bucky, you did it again. But I know it's an audio channel for YouTube, not a uh, a food, uh, what would that be, a uh, food critic? Yeah, I'm, I shouldn't be a food critic. All I'm saying is if you've already been to Bucky's and tried like the barbecue, shit, try burrito one time. If you're, if you're a Mexican food fan or like burrito, give it a shot. All I'm making to meet outside because he keeps dropping food in my car. This is your Bucky's update. So we're back on the road. I right, make sure I ain't got no burrito in my beard. She literally made me like eat outside the car. I had to finish my burrito out there. I think I dropped some black bean or corn in on her seat. So she was like, get the hell out the car. Which yeah, we normally don't really eat in the car, but at Bucky's, they don't have tables or nothing. So yeah, you fill up with gas, go out, enjoy your food in the car. But burritos are kind of messy, so. Yeah, but now we're heading to Main Street Window Tending to Dustin's shop to, to drop these off. And uh, I would say it's going to be a long time before I can get them in Jangalang. It'll be about a week, two weeks, because got to finish up her blazer Sunday. And uh, i got to put an alternator, which I have an alternator now. Although it's pink, I don't care at all if it's pink. But uh, i got an alternator to put on Jangalang. And I still ain't heard anything from Singer on the alternator I sent them like weeks ago. 
But I figure when I get that alternator back from Singer, put it on my shelf, uh, because the blue Jeep, black Jeep both take that alternator. So I have a spare. Uh, so it's all good, guys. But I can't believe my wife made me eat outside the car. Damn. Yeah, so, Eris can't get right subs. 10 inch port that we no longer need. Look at the booty on these things have like a huge motor. But there's the six I just picked up. Ah, we'll go ahead and open one real quick. I got it cut open, but got the DS18 sticker, the manual, some wire and stuff. And under here, we should have a subwoofer. Yay, let's get let's get it out of there. But I'll show y'all what really made me want these bad boys. If I if I can find it. <laughs> Three inch coil, coil, coil. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here we go. Excursion, <laughs> one way. 42 millimeter. God, that's a, that's a lot of X-Max. So. All right. Now, I'm at to stop filming and get it out. All right, we got her out. But look at the surround and the width of it. I mean, look at that. Wide surround, carbon dust cap. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like yours, don't <laughs> Watch me roll it off of here and break it. <laughs> big hole for cooling big booty i mean black spider i don't know how many spider packs are in here but yeah i'd say it's quite a few oh yeah it's like that thick Good spacers in there. Let's see if we get the coil. I need some coil. Black coil. But recon's readily available. I love that. So, yeah. The old EXL XX. I say, this shit's so loud with them that, uh, and windy. When I was thinking about subs, you know, I'm Team DS18, so I get all this stuff at Team Pricing and. It was kind of dumb to go with a different brand because of the team pricing. So, but they do do really well though. I mean, yeah. they surprised me. And oh, and your build surprised me. Well, I mean, it surprised me <laughs> myself. I didn't expect for them to do what they done. But everybody at Sundown was like, "I can't believe that's DS18." When, when that first <laughs> note hit, the, when we first turned it on, and right. the tear went what? I said, right. "I'm in." But yeah, that's what I'm putting in Jungle Land, guys. So, and there'll be motors down. So. We'll get to see the pretty carbon fiber dust cap. And Sunday we'll do some, we'll build a port for can't get right and have these bad boys back in there. But yeah, Dustin said he's getting ready to have a yard sale with uh, <laughs> yeah, 15s for everybody. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna have, he got 10 15s sitting here. Actually sweating carrying them in. And Deb helped me. <laughs> but yeah, like I said in yesterday's video, I had to trust this guy with because that's three about six thousand dollars worth of subs sitting there. <laughs> I ain't worried at all. <laughs> they are guarded by Smith and West. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So uh, I gotta get this thing back in the box. Made it home. I got pinky. So, uh, yeah. Damn, this Jeep's tall. <laughs> but.
But anyway, guys, I can lean on it like perfect. Let's put Pinky on here real quick. So that way I don't have to waste that time on a Sunday or a Monday off because I've already got the day off. I figured it'd be a damn good time to uh, get that alternator on here and get this thing fired up. Thank you, JS, for Pinky. I don't know why that guy didn't want it because of that pink color. I don't care. Pink, my favorite flavor. So let's do this. So this is such a pain in it because it goes like this, but it literally, you gotta get it way back in there. Okay, now we're kinda where we need to be. So, see I get the top there. Gotta turn the damn fan blade just right so I can get this bolt started. <laughs> now, we got that on. And that's how pinky you sit in there. But with my battery box here, you won't even really see the beautiful pinkness, which that does kind of bother me. I like that pink alternator. I'm not even going to lie. But now, my problem... Okay, so my... My other boat is stuck here. I'm probably gonna have to crawl down on the bottom and put it in. Cause uh, we gotta get the alternator held in. Get that boat started. Hell no, I'm not in there. But all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit filming for a minute and I'm gonna get underneath here and try to get that boat started. All right, guys, we are back at it. He is, you can see down there, working from the bottom to get that bolt in. Got his little ratchety ranching out. That damn thing. It's a mile long. It feels like it's a mile long. But there's the original. It's got some overspray on it. Original what? But then there's that pink one. <laughs> I think he needs two pinkins. He always telling me it's all pink on the inside. Pink's my favorite flavor. Oh, since I can't be here much help, I figured I'd film this few seconds for y'all. Let you see. Like he said, you won't be able to see it, but we'll go ahead and say hey. Tell you what, Pinky looked good down in there. I ain't even gonna lie. That actually looks good. A lot of men too self-conscious run pink alternator. Not old Jerry. And definitely not old Jangalang. Hell look at that. Look at that till rolling into that paint. That look good. Yeah, I'm I'm digging it. Like I'm definitely not hating it. Now I gotta fish my belt over and around it. And uh, I gotta put my, see if you can get this here, yeah, this thing. I gotta put that on the uh, charge stud. Let me go ahead and get the boat off up here so I can see what size wrench it takes. There you go, honey. Find me a ratchet wrench, fit that if you can. Um, but that, and I can't plug it in right now. Um, Reason being is the Singer alternator I had on here, I believe, yeah, it's got a, uh, let me get the plug. See how we only got one wire coming out? Only one wire on this plug. So the way these Jeeps are, and guys, if you don't know this, this is a factory Jeep plug for 97 up. So what I'm getting at here is you could have a stock alternator or say, you got a system with a Jeep and uh, you you have a uh, upgraded alternator just for that Jeep. You can put an external regulator on the stock alternator and get 16 volt. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but the factory Jeep alternators, like these Jeeps, that computer right there has the voltage regulator in it. 
And most of them only charge around 13, eight to 14. So you can just take your stock alternator, take the two wires coming off of it and uh, ground one straight to here. And then the other wire would be a fields wire that would hook to a blue box, a fat boy, a cheap Mopar adjustable regulator. You can go 16 volt. So with that being said, um, anyway, my other alternator, the ground was done internally in the back under here. I don't know if this alternator is done that way or not. So I got to get a plug that has two wires on it. And usually the wire closest to your uh, charging stud down here is your fields. The other one just goes directly to ground. So I don't know if this is grounded or not. <clears throat> I'm not even going to mess with uh, hooking it up until I get a plug with two wires. But I wanted to go ahead and get this done. Because believe it or not, all these bolts up through there on for this front bracket, they're a pain in the butt to get in since I put this damn steering stiffener plate on here. It just adds a lot of extra time, but I'm done with the hard part now. So I'm gonna get underneath here and hook this, my two charge wires to this alternator, try to fish the belt on it. And then after that, after the belt's on, I can tighten the belt up, put my air box back in, then come over in this area and put my battery to lead in. All right, I'll be back. Got the battery tray in, the belt is on and tight. Okay, I gotta put my battery tray in here. I had this thing cut out, you know, for clearance because it just holds a wooden box, but I got my alternator charge thing on. Shit, we getting this knocked out. Get it right, jang <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. As you can tell, I'm a JJ the Boss fan. But anyway, I gotta get back to work. All right, so we got everything I think is where it would need to be, except for that is gonna hit right there. Yeah, okay, so it is it has hit it before. What it is, is that's my uh my overflow. But I got I got clearance. I got clearance now. Okay, let's see. I'll pull it. There we go. Yeah. Get it out the way. Alrighty, so Deb, go ahead and go in there. Let's see, give her a give her a whirl. Get right, Jang Lang. Turn that key on. See what my voltage is at. It ain't been done anything in a week. Oh, shit. We ain't gonna get nothing turned off. <laughs> I got ahead of myself big time because we ain't got no battery wires to go up front. Yeah. Um <laughs> see guys, I do screw up. Like I make these videos, but I screw up just like everybody else. Let me fix this and I'll be back. So Dev hooked them up for me. And if you look, you see these right there? Big cutters. In case something happens, I always carry them. That way I can just start cutting wires. 15.5? No, 15.4, Yeah, give her a whirl. Give her a, a minute. We got belt track. Looks like it's tracking good. That's what I was gonna check. Look, and you can't even really see Pinky down there with his damn battery box in here. I'm gonna have to get a clear acrylic one just so we can see Pinky. But uh, I'm gonna have to go in the house and get my clamp here in a minute just to make sure the top alternator is working. I know the bottom one won't be right now, but well, yeah, the top alternator is working. Look, we're already at 15.6. How much gas I got in this whole thing? That's cool. Well, look at all that, guys. But yeah, Deb actually went ahead and put them in. <laughs> Blew a tweeter out of the door. Didn't blow the tweeter itself, but what did the gas get? Look, we only got a quarter. That's not great. Look in there, them getting ready to come out. They's getting ready to come out the day. Out of there. But I'm just glad I got an alternator back on it. 
and everything is going good. Cause I miss this thing. I have, I have. I missed you, Jangalang. Hands all greasy. I've been using tub of towel like the whole time I've been working today. No water? <laughs> yeah. That's a good sign. I've even missed a little bucky up there. But, yeah. Look at that. 15 7. So, anyway. Yeah, that's gonna about do it. I have so many little wires and shit that go to the engine that have to hook up here. This is only gonna look like a mess, but it is what it is, guys. There ain't nothing I can do about it. So, yeah. Well, guess that's gonna be a video. I don't know what else to, to put in here. I mean. I want to give a big shout out to JS for the hell of a deal on old Pinky there to get me back rolling. Because, I mean, theoretically, I could drive it now. It's got an alternator. The other one's there. You know, I needed something in that place for a pulley. And it's such a pain to put in and out. Yeah, so JS just hooked me up because, I mean, it's just crazy. They had an alternator laying there for over a year that would fit, you know, on Jangalang. So when my Singer Alt comes back, both Jeeps take the same alternator, so it'll be a, a good spare. I just gotta get a plug and plug it in. I don't know if that plug would work on it. I don't know if it's internally grounded. And I don't know if it'll hurt anything trying to run it if it's, if it's not, you know, so I wanna get the right plug. But other than that, I mean, everything looks good. So, I get the plug. That's just like a 10 minute job putting that on. But 15 8 already? Yeah. So Jangle ain't good to go. And see, Sunday we're putting we're putting subs back in this, building the port and everything. So that'd be a good video for you guys for Basehead Sunday. The following Sunday, new subs in Jangle Lane. Subs are still for sale in there, guys. 1500 come get all of them. Uh, I guarantee you know I guarantee they're all good because they're all playing right now so 2000 if you want the other three Genesis I got two Leviathan 15s dual fours 400 come get them both of them 600 if you just want the three 15 inch G2 Genesis come get them uh, yeah, or 15 for them if you want all of the the genesis say you wanted all nine to do a big build and you just wanted to take the dual four that i have apart and put the corey deed and recones in them 2k for all of them 2k 2k i don't know or get a hold of me with cash we work a deal but i got subs i definitely need to get rid of i got a term lab also magnum that i need to get rid of i got stuff just taking up room in there I bought that term lab and I've used it like three times in two years. So I got a term lab magnum with two sensors, upgraded cables and a little carrying bag, ready to rock and roll. Well, you're gonna have to get software for your computer, but you buy a membership with term lab. But anyway, it's all good. Hit, hit me up, you need term lab. But anyway, I gotta end this video. Look at that. I'm just glad old Dringaling is back to life in here charging she got pinky on her and uh you know, i just might have this whole thing in the js booth at ruckus you never know but either way you know i'll be at ruckus come get a demo